Suppose you are given equation y is equal to x and if I ask you to draw the graph then you can draw a table by putting x is equal to 1 independent variable is x so you put 1 you get y as 1 you put x as 2 you get y as 2 so for all positive x you will simply say that the graph will be a straight line like this now if you put negative value of x which is minus 1 then y will also be minus 1 for minus 2 it will be minus 2 so what you will say that this straight line here will actually go towards negative in the similar manner so in terms of function notation you can simply replace y and say fx is equal to x in the graph of this is one on the shown on the right but suppose I say that y is x for all x greater than or equal to 0 that is positive x but y actually is minus x for x is less than 0 so the graph drawn earlier will remain the same for for the positive value or the till 0 so for x 1 y will be 1 from this equation here for 2 it will be 2 but what happens when I put x equal to minus 1 when you put x equal to minus 1 minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1 so y actually becomes plus 1 for x equal to minus 1 so instead of this point here you are getting a point here if you have given me this condition now in function notation I can write this condition as fx is equal to x for x greater than or equal to 0 and fx is equal to minus x for x less than 0 this is nothing but a mod function which is represented in short by a simple illustration fx is equal to mod of x mod of x means we will always take positive value for fx whether x is negative or positive so this graph here will not work for this mod function instead you will have a new graph for this function which is denoted here fx is equal to mod x is a short form of these two conditions for what does fx equal to mod x means for positive 1 x1 y is 1 but negative minus 1 x y is again plus 1 similarly for minus 2 x is minus 2 y is plus 2 so for whether x is positive or negative y always remain positive in mathematics such situation is actually written as fx is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x if x is less than 0 this same thing here is written in this form therefore function fx is broken into pieces top one here is one piece and second one down is a second piece so this is an example of piecewise function and this is the way piecewise functions are written so you must get acquainted with the term value of fx will depend on the region in which x lies so if x is positive or 0 it will be this function here and if it is negative it will be this one here